Come on, Van. I think you should fire that guy. Van Williams, he's um, obviously leaving us. It's uh, good to have you all, and uh, we'll get started on this. I was going to hold out until we had a larger crowd, but Vice Mayor couldn't round up everybody he rounded up last week. I don't know why. So we appreciate you being here. We want to touch on some important topics. Some might say maybe even more important than baseball. And one of them that we're going to talk about is street improvements. And we've got a lot of significant improvements that are getting ready to take place that we wanted to share. You can see the map that's up there that um, shows the arterial reconstruction projects. Some of them are very significant projects. I don't need to go over the entire map, but one of them that we're getting ready to start here um, is the 45th, and, or that's already underway, the 45th and Hillside ex intersection that's being improved that includes multiple turn lanes in all directions and signalization certainly more safely accommodating the daily traffic. Do we have some kind of idea when that's going to be completed? So thanks for narrowing that down, 2018. That's, that's the way the engineers speak. So sometime in this decade, no, we've got some great projects and some of them are, are certainly challenging projects. Oliver's being widened to five lanes between 17th and 19th Street. Uh, this includes improvements at the 7th, 17th Street intersection. And then this is certainly the final project that uh, will improve vehicle and pedestrian traffic in coordination with uh, Wichita State and the Innovation Campus expansion. 127th Street from 13th to 21st is being reconstructed to accommodate three lanes of traffic and on-street bike lanes. This project will also include sidewalk and drainage improvements. Just east of Interstate 135, 9th Street will be improved to Hillside, including a three-lane roadway, bike and pedestrian facilities, and aesthetic enhancements. And I've been by there recently. It's really starting to look nice. Again, we anticipate that project will be completed sometime this decade. These projects are actually slated to be completed this fall with weather permitting. Multiple projects will be underway in 2019 to enhance major arterial streets and intersections across the city. Those include West Street from Harry to Kellogg, Greenwich from Harry to Pawnee, and over 15 miles of arterial streets that will receive new surfacing as part of our annual pavement preservation effort. You can check all of these out as you're looking at this map on our wichita.gov for the construction bulletin, which details construction projects around town. You can also attend, because I know that the vice mayor probably has all of this information at his fingertip, district advisory board meetings where they oftentimes update the district advisory board members on projects in their um, particular districts. Anything you want to add to that? This decade? This fall. Oh, this fall. All right. Another important announcement today, and I understand they're having great success at rounding up volunteers, and that is the downtown cleanup that's scheduled for this Saturday. So we'll have a downtown cleanup. Saturday, September 15th from 9 to 1 p.m. and West Star is sponsoring this cleanup. They're going to provide lunch for those that are coming downtown. And it's my understanding, I think, they've filled up all of the time slots for the volunteers that they were hoping to fill up. I'm sure if you still want to volunteer, come down. Then we can always use extra hands and um, help clean up our city, our downtown. Community cleanups are a great, great way to get involved and make a difference in our city, and I want to thank everyone who is volunteering their time to make our downtown nicer. 
some community events want to mention. We have a couple of events that are coming up that should be on your radar. September the 22nd, there is a Share Our Food and Dining event from 6 to 8 p.m. at the uh, uh, All Indian Center, the Mid-American All Indian Center. Join us for a taste of authentic American Indian dishes from across the country. Share Our Food is open to all who want to experience new tastes. Doors open at 5.30. The dinner uh, begins at 6.15. Introductions at 6, dinner at 6.15. The museum is open from 5.30 to 8 p.m. with free admission for dinner guests who wish to dine and browse the museum. Tickets are only $40 for the dinner. $40 you get to enjoy the museum for free. They can be purchased online at theindiancenter.org. All of the proceeds help support the museum. October 6th is Native American Celebration Day and the 18th Annual Trail of Tears Memorial Walk from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Mid-America All Indian Center. KPTS Channel 8 and members of the Native American Community Resource Coalition are teaming up to present a free day at the Mid-American All Indian Center Museum. The event marks the Trail of Tears and honors the indigenous people of America. And the upcoming document, documentary on KPT, KPTS Native America. A screening of this film will be held on October 11th at the Mid-America All Indian Center with the premiere to show on KPTS on October the 23rd. Activities at the Native American Celebration Day include Trail of Tears Memorial Walk, along the Arkansas River at 10 o'clock Native American Fair from 10 to 3. A traditional Indian meal and dance exhibition at noon. A Wounded Knee Survivors Run presentation at 1 in the land of the Great Turtle Island, read by the Cherokee author Brad Wagnon at 2 p.m. that day. There will be community resources and health stations at the event, hands-on activities and games for the kids, artists, booths, and family events. I think that completes everything that we wanted to share today, unless the vice mayor has anything else he would like to share. Thank you for being here, vice mayor, and we'll open it up for questions. No questions? Are any of these arterial constructions already? Under? Are any of these arterial constructions already started? Some, some of the arterial construction, 9th Street's already started. Gary, you want to talk about the ones that are underway? I, I can, all of them. Sure. Thank you, Mayor. Gary Jansen, City Engineer. All of the projects you see that are in that orange color are, are under construction right now. Okay. And we're expected to be completed yet this fall. A few of them will push the end of the year. Uh, but we were trying to show what's going on now, what will wrap up. Everything in the blue, none of those have started yet. 2nd Street has bid. It should start in the next month. The rest of them will be underway in the spring. Okay. Thank you. Gary, can you give us an update on the, the East Kellogg project toward Webb and Greenwich, and how's that moving along right now? Sure. Um, you, you know, as of right now, we're, we're scheduled to be, there's actually two projects out there, believe it or not. It doesn't really look like it, but we started Webb uh, sometime before we did the Greenwich to K96 work. Right now, we're on track to finish the web portion at the end of next year, at the end of 2019. Everything else is scheduled to be completed in late 2021. We're actually taking a look right now at a modified plan that could help us get all of it done sooner by making a little bit of a change to when web completes. And, and that's just something we've started taking a look at in the last few days. I think it's worthy to see if we can get out of everybody's hair out there sooner than the end of 2021. Right now, that's our schedule, but we're going to see what we can do to expedite that. So, You had me until you started talking about hair again. If there's nothing else, thank you. Enjoy your upcoming weekend. Appreciate you being here.